we use the term first level test to mean that initial simple test stage prior to the first level of formal testing. Strategies for unit test and beyond are covered in a separate series of videos. For XTUML formal testing, we recommend building test models which, when executed, fully exercise the production models. By contrast, first level test stops short of creating such models and instead advocates the addition of function and port OAL that is designed to put the component under test through its paces. It is for each development organisation to decide its own testing strategy. One key decision is to specify coverage requirements at each stage of testing. One reasonable policy for first level test is that the test should demonstrate that all the core use cases are covered. Core use cases are sometimes referred to as sunny day scenarios. By extension, it follows that first level test should not normally attempt to reach 100% code coverage. Formal test development in parallel with production modelling is a commonly used and successful development strategy. With such test early policies, first level test is largely redundant. First level test is more useful when formal test has a less prominent role, such as when creating experimental, example or demonstration models. To implement first level test, we add a package at the top level immediately inside the component under test. This package should be named first level test. It should contain one function that initiates a test for each core use case. This package can be marked as not for production so that the model compiler generates no code for it. We write OAL in outgoing ports to confirm that the appropriate messages have been sent for each component. See the video entitled partial launches for more details on writing outgoing port OAL. Where first level testing is to be automated and completion of test scenarios requires the passage of significant time, it is permissible to add test case classes to the test package. If this becomes necessary, create a separate class for each use case that requires one so that dependencies between the tests are not inadvertently introduced. Ensure that each class is clearly named to trace back to the use case being tested. Finally, add a single entry point function which manages the progressive execution of each test scenario. To record the first level test results, specify a file name here under the launch configuration. This causes the actual result transcript written to the console to be captured to the file. The contents of this file may be subsequently compared with a golden reference result file. Finally, a handy hint. Verifier is capable of accepting changes to OAL in the middle of a simulation. This capability can be leveraged by adding a sandbox function to the test package. By keeping an editor open on this sandbox function, you can type arbitrary OAL into the function to stimulate the model as you see fit for debugging purposes. In this way, 
it is possible to have a console-like debugging experience.